Jacob appeared up to me saying, but why did he say, why did he say go tell them the power of our fa your fathers, the power of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob? Why do you think he said, said tell them that? Why do you think that it says in 16, go and gather the elders together and say unto them the power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob appeared unto me. Why do you think he told, told him to say that? Because we just told them people. Uh, my, all, everything I ask you is in the scripture that we oh, read. Uh, you got you got to read the scripture and understand the scripture. That's it. I ain't, you ain't got to think. Don't try and come up with nothing. I'm just. It's all there from what we read. The answer is right there. Yeah. That's his name. That's you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's his name. You sure? I'm sure that's his name. That's his name. <laughs> uh, How you prove it? In, in verse 15. Yeah. What it say? And and the and the power said moreover unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. No, just for this verse. Forever. Just in Exodus. Forever. Forever. Read. And this is my memorial unto all generations. Right, so I'm here because it's like, if I am is his name, then why did he say, go gather the elders together and say, I am, have seen the affliction that you're going through. These Egyptians putting us through. He said, this is my name forever. So he said, gather the elders together and say to them, the power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. Right. Yeah. Because I, I noticed that it didn't say, in verse 16, it, it doesn't say, go and gather the elders of Israel together and say unto them, I am that I am, that sent me unto you. You know what I mean? Like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Not only that, my master got a shot identified him. When he came to the flesh, he identified his dad, his father. In Matthew 22, 32. It's talking about the most high. This is how he identifies. And see, when you understand, when you identify him as such, now, if you ain't of Jacob, the most high power of Abraham, who had a son named Isaac, who had a son named Jacob. Come on. Jacob being a forefather of the 12 tribe of Israel, how you gonna get anybody else in there? How you the power of anybody else? Right? Ex, uh, Matthew 22, 32. Read that. Matthew chapter 22, verse 32. I am the power of Abraham. <laughs> there it is again, read. And the power of Isaac, mm -hmm. and the power of Jacob, and the power of Jacob, the most high is not the power of the dead, but of the living. That's right. There it is again. This is his name forever. We in, we in the gospel. Now go to Exodus, I mean Acts 5. 29 to 31. Say Acts. Acts 5, 29 to 31. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high rather than men. So we're gonna obey the most high rather than men. Men say you don't have to follow him. Say you ain't gotta follow the laws of the most high. I mean, you don't have to do what he say do. You ain't gonna follow mm -hmm. his rules and regulations. So we're gonna follow the most high rather than men. Men will lead you straight to hell. Mm -hmm. Read. The power of our fathers. Here it is, the power of our fathers. Who is that? Acts 3, 13. They say the power of our fathers. They said it here, right? Mm -hmm. The power of our fathers. Who they identify? 
Most High. Most High. Huh? The power of our fathers. It was, the, who was our, who was the power of our fathers? Acts three thirteen. Acts chapter three verse thirteen. The power of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. So what is that? Who is that? The Most High. What is that? The power of our fathers. Yes, but what is what is that? His name. His name. Right? Didn't he say that? It is my name how long? Forever. And a memorial to what? All generations. All generations. Huh? huh? huh. So you say read it again, mm -hmm. Acts 3 13? Acts chapter 3, verse 13. The power of Abraham mm -hmm. and of Isaac mm -hmm. and of Jacob. The power of our fathers. There it is. That's all we need. <laughs> right? Now go back to Acts 5 and 30. Acts chapter 5, verse 30. Uh-huh. The power of our fathers. The power of our fathers. Who's that? The power, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Power of Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the power of our fathers, and that's his name. How long? Forever. 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 And memorial to all generations. Cut. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead. Raised up Hamashiach was shy, whom you slew. And hanged on a tree. Mm -hmm. Wicked Israelites. Game over to the Romans. Read. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Remember, they, they highly esteem our savior, the rock that begot them, and their savior, Hamashiach Galvashah. Read. For to give repentance to Israel. For to give repentance to Israel. Read. And forgiveness of sins. Forgiveness of sins. That's what it says. So, that's pretty clear to me. Right? That's clear, man. So, those, these are the things that I look at. We have to come out of the blindness of really looking at, that's not deep. This ain't so, this ain't so, just such a deep spirit once you've seen that, right? When you're looking at trying to, there's a lot of things cause division. And we don't need to be divided over something of that nature. You see what I'm saying? When we're looking at salvation is coming to Israel, but then you're looking at all these things that's coming out to divide us. And people, it might not be the leaders that's doing it actually, but when you realize it, you gotta stop it. I'll find out it's something that I'm dealing with that's causing division. I gotta look at that, seriously. Fall back because Mosiah hates separation. That's for man and woman. You see, you ain't supposed to be divided like that, where we can't deal with each other because of something that's, you know, harboring over a doctrine that we just, you just start hating people. The people start to dislike each other behind what it is that they might not see yet. Or something that they come out with and say, this is where it is, and it's really not that way. But the people under them, they just start, you know, oh no, I can't deal with you because of this, that, and the third, but they ain't really bringing that. Hebrews 10 or something. They ain't bringing this. It's very important, man, because how are you going to know him? How he know you if you ain't never acknowledged him? Dealing with David. Dealing with Moses. Read that. We at Hebrews 10 and 7. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O Most High. Yeah, say so come in the volume of the book to do the will of the Most High. The volume of the book. Not the volume of the New Testament. <laughs> the volume of the book. Uh -huh. From old to new. In the beginning, he was there. He created everything. All the worlds. So now let's go, let's, let's end on this. Uh, Isaiah, the last book of Isaiah. You know, Mashiach, I'm shy, he, he read a lot in Isaiah. He went to Isaiah a lot. Isaiah. 
66 and 15. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the most high will come, Slaki. The Mashiach Shah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Now that's the most high of the Mashiach Gabba Shah, because huh. he ain't doing nothing without the, without the Mashiach. Understand this. He ain't the Mashiach Gabba Shah by himself. Remember, he speaks the words of the most high. He the word of the most high. You understand? The angel of the most high spoke what? The words of the most high. It ain't the most high, but it's the words of the most high, the voice of the most high. You understand? Yeah. Go ahead. For behold, the most high one must go shot will come with fire, mm -hmm. and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's right. He's gonna burn this place up, man. He's gonna burn a lot of places up, man. Go ahead. For by fire and by his sword. Will the Most High while Mashiach was shy plead with all flesh? And the slain of the Most High while Mashiach was shy shall be many. That's right. You're going to kill a whole lot of people, man. That's why I said, don't think that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. But they thinking, oh, right now? No. <laughs> not then. <laughs> when he come back, he bringing it, baby. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Oh, to eat the pork. You serious about this? You eat swine, you eat that pork, anything about the pig, read. And the abomination. And anything that's abomination from Leviticus 11 chapter to dietary law. That's the last one you, I bring people to if they don't want to deal with, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the laws of the most high part, deal with the, the dietary laws, read. And the mouse. And the mouse family, read. Shall be consumed together, said the Most High. Yeah, right. You come with that fire to burn them up, man. Remember the Most High is about consuming fire. Huh? <laughs> so go ahead. For I know their words and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. So we're gonna come and see His glory, man. If we just endure to the end and keep doing what's right, man. Jump to verse 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make. Yeah, once he kill all these people and set up a new heaven, a new earth, that he going to make, read. Shall remain before me. Shall remain before him, read. Said the Most High. Uh-huh. So shall your seed and your name remain. And it's right. Our children, that we're going to have righteous children that we have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because all the children don't be righteous. Uh -huh. The seed... And our name will remain in the right with the righteous children, read. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another. So we're just in the kingdom. When you have new heavens and new earth. So anybody say it's not important. This is the kingdom. From one new moon. Read it again. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another. From one new moon to another. Month to month to month. Every first day to every first day, read. And from one Sabbath to another. And from one Sabbath to another, the seventh day, every seventh day, and every holy convocation that the Most High was follow me. So all flesh come to worship before me, said the Most High, while Mashiach was shy. You're going to come and worship before him, everyone, read. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. So you're gonna look up on the dead bodies of them that have did what? Broke the most highest laws. Remember to say he that teach that you ain't none, you break one of these little ones, you're gonna be the least in the kingdom of heaven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this look at those that be burning in the lake of fire, man. You're gonna throw them in the lake of fire. You're gonna look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against the most high, right? And for, Mashiach Gavashai too, right? For their worm shall not die, uh -huh. neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. That's the last thing Isaiah told us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last words. <laughs> That's right, man. That's serious, man. I mean, people take this lightly if they want to, but that right there let you know, man. Say, that, that abhorrence, because we're going to be hating to see this. We're going to love to be there. The next thing we say, don't forget. Don't forget. You see, 
what I got over there, right? You can be right there with them. You're gonna hate that man a little bit, but I tell you what, I bet you gonna be some discipline. I bet you everybody gonna be in order then, right? But then he gonna release Satan and so I'm still gonna follow. Him. So that's it. Any questions? To show you, we're gonna have the new moons in the kingdom. We're gonna have the new moons in the kingdom. Patrick.